is uh, an evening in mid-June. It's supposed to be 30 degrees Fahrenheit tonight and 26 I think tomorrow night. So I'm off to cover all the garden beds. doing here if you guys are new to our frost cover setup. I have these covers built for every single bed. I've been using the same ones for, oh well, let's see, I think I've had this set for four years now um, and I had one before that that I used for quite a while. The material kind of eventually degraded but these I think are going to last much longer because with my first set I didn't have the raised block beds that keep our pocket gophers from eating all the veggies so the covers laid right on the soil and that was much much uh harder on the material so this is set up where it obviously takes some time but it is also designed so that it's something i can do by myself because we do get killing freezes all summer long that's quite normal so you can probably see there uh, was fresh snow in the mountains overnight and so these are all just set up so that I can easily cover and uncover the beds as needed through the summer. Um, these are lovely. Clay made me a bunch of these new sticks from some spare willows. I had a bunch uh, for a while over time they either got broken or barely thought they were chew sticks as you probably know he loves that. Um, anyway on the longer beds what they do is let me kind of prop the edges so they stay put instead of rolling down into the soil. So I'm propping both edges. Normally these just stay in place. He just made me these new ones. So normally I'm not placing these each time. You can kind of see how that makes the, that's a PVC pipe in the edge there and how that makes it stay put and up on the cement block. And then for tucking in the ends, and this seems to work even with our fairly high wind area here, all I do is I, you know, made it with some extra material and I take it and I just stuff it into the concrete block hole one way and then the other. And there's enough friction with those blocks that it seems to hold it. it there's enough friction. You can also scrape all the skin off the back of your knuckles if you don't wear gloves and aren't careful. But this works really well and I've protected the garden for quite a few years through quite a few hard freezes. If you want to see how I actually made these covers, uh, I'll try to link below and at the end maybe to the video where I did that. But this works really well and it's what allows me to grow basically a winter garden here in the Wyoming mountains in the middle of summer where uh, in the middle of June we get snow in the mountains and sometimes down below and multiple killing freezes. Even last year where we had record breaking heat and it got into the 90s, we still had a killing frost just about every other week all summer long. It would go from 90 to 25 to 90. So that's one of the challenges of gardening here and we hope for a successful harvest and we hope everything is going to survive this freeze and the weather has been a little wild and crazy here. We live not that far from Yellowstone. If you guys have been watching the news, I think every major connecting road in Yellowstone Park washed out yesterday due to um, extreme flooding, actually, because we got some rain here, which was wonderful. We needed it, but we didn't get quite the, the violent uh, thunderbursts that they got there. So Yellowstone Park is closed, and I don't, looking at some of the damage to the roads, if you guys haven't seen that, I don't even know if it's going to reopen this year. Thankfully, we didn't get rain and hail quite that violent here, but it was enough to soak the beds nicely and water them well. And now we're getting two hard freezes, so covered they go. And I wouldn't even normally cover this. This one's a strawberry bed. I wouldn't even usually do that, except they are blooming right now. And the, the buds are a little more frost sensitive. The leaves themselves are very, very frost hardy. 
but anyway everything's tucked in and hopefully it all survives our our middle of june freeze nights we hope you enjoyed it come back next time for more adventures thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching.